it interferes with their self-esteem, it creates anxiety. They might lose their appetite or skip meals. They may want to not want to go to school. These are the effects that bullying can have on your child. Governor Snyder took action against bullying in 2011 by passing the anti-bullying legislation. The bill engaged the full school and staff in education, communication, training and action against bullying. For some victims, bullying doesn't end once school lets out. It follows them into their homes, even into their bedrooms, leaving victims feeling like there's nowhere to hide. Outlets like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram make cyberbullying as easy as pushing a button. The American Academy of Pediatrics calls cyberbullying the most common online risk for all teens. But Dr. Christine Greenhow, expert on social media and education, says the rates of cyberbullying are often exaggerated. Really just a minority of teens that experience bullying, about four to six percent. And that not all teens are equally likely to be bullied. That a lot of times the kids that are being bullied are also bullying themselves. So how do we stop bullying? The child can take care of it herself if she stands up for herself and she decides that she's not going to take it. She knows she's got backing from the school. She knows she's got backing from her parents. She can go ahead and she can stand up against the bully. In Meridian Township, Shaughnessy Shreve, Home TV.